All right, there's one other method you can use to solve these problems with directed line segments, with partitioning di directed line segments. But it involves a formula that's kind of complicated to remember. And here it is up on the board. If you want to find the x component okay, of that point that partitions the line segment, uh, then here's the formula. It's h, sorry, <laughs> it's k, x1, where x1 would be you know, this first point, and this would be y1, by the way. So it's k times x1 plus h times x2. So x2 would be over here, x2, and this would be the other point, y2. Uh, divided by h plus k. Well, what is this h and k? The h and k are actually the ratio components, where h is the first part and the k is the second part. That would be how you find the x. To find the y, you would do k. You would take this number that's in the ratio, do k times y1 plus h times y2. And then you would divide that by h plus k. You just add those together. So, let me just go ahead and show you. If you were going to find the x part, so xp, this is what you would do. You would just take your k, which is 3, so that's going to be 3 times x1, 4. You just do 4, plus, and then you would take the h, which is 1, and multiply it by x2, so it's 18. Divided by h plus k, so you just add these together, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3. <coughs> Excuse me. You would just type this whole thing in your calculator right here. So at this point, you would just do 3 times 4 plus 1 times 18 divided by 1 plus 3, which is just 4. And so that's going to give you this, 7 and 1 over 2. That's your x part. And then you just do your y part. y part, you're just going to do k. So you're going to start with 3 again. But this time, you're going to use the y one. So that's going to be 5. And then you're going to take the h, which is 1. And you're going to multiply it by the y2, which is negative 5. And then you're going to divide it by 1 plus 3 again. 1 plus 3. And then you just plug this whole thing in your calculator. So you're going to do 3, 5, plus 1. It's negative 5. And that's going to be divided by 4. Change that to a mixed number. So that's going to be 2 and 1 half. So that's it. There's your x, there's your y. Now, I don't really care which one you use, but here's the problem. Some students have a hard time memorizing this form. But if you feel like, oh, I know that, I can memorize that pretty easily. If you rather use this than doing all the proportions and stuff that I showed you in the other video, that's fine. Okay, I don't care which, form, which way you do it. You can use this using the formula to get the answer. As long as you can get the right answer, that's fine. But you will have to memorize this. I'm not going to give the, you this on the test. So if you can memorize it, if you don't think this is going to be hard to memorize, then this might be an option for you. But if you are like, Ms. McLeod, I, I, I can't memorize all that. Well, then you're going to have to do the method I showed you before. You're going to have to do the proportions. Well, Ms. McLeod, is there another way I can do it? I don't like doing the proportions. I don't want to memorize this. No. You're going to have to pick one, okay? If you don't like any of them, I'm sorry. You're going to have to pick the one that you think would be better or the one that you think you will understand better. Okay? So I'm giving you two options. It's up to you to pick one. Okay? And if you're having trouble with, you know, you're not, still not sure, you know, ask me questions. You know, ask me questions about this if you want to understand this better or ask me questions about proportions if you want to understand that better uh, so that you can get the right answer. Okay? But you, you're going to have to find one. So do some practice problems. You know, if you want to play around with both of these methods and see which one you like better, that's fine. Okay, but uh, I'm just showing you two options and it's up to you to pick one. So uh, go ahead and just try a few practice problems. Let me know if you have some questions and, um, and then decide which one you want to use. Okay?